being still very much a part of our everyday lives. And with Christmas now quickly approaching, the chance of another spike of cases rising along with the holiday cheer is on, on its way up as well. Let's start things off tonight with 44 News reporter Valerie Lyons. She has more tonight on the CDC's Christmas travel warning. It's a message we've all heard. I want to remind Hoosiers about how to stay safe and protect your loved ones over the holidays. First for Thanksgiving, and now again. The CDC has issued updated holiday guidance to help you consider how you can modify your plans to reduce the spread of COVID-19 and keep your loved ones safe. Government and health officials urging everyone not to travel and to stay home this holiday season. And with the recent surge in cases across the country linked to Thanksgiving travel, there's more concern than ever. But if you still plan on traveling, the CDC has some recommendations in place. Some tips to follow. Check local travel restrictions before you go. Get your flu shot before traveling. Get tested before and after your trip. And of course, wear your mask correctly, covering your mouth and nose. And these warnings seem to be working. AAA is predicting the number of people traveling for Christmas and New Year's will be down nearly 30% from last year, a decline almost twice that we saw over Thanksgiving. And though the pandemic has led many to cancel plans and stay home this year, one Evansville travel agency is expecting this year's slump to turn around in the new year. Uh, we, we've all been cooped up for a long time, so we're ready, ready to travel and ready to go. So we're seeing more inquiries and really um, going into summer and fall, people feel very confident. She says with more vaccines getting approved by the day, people are feeling more comfortable with the thought of traveling once again. Do you think people are still going to keep those safety guidelines and, and that caution in mind as they plan for their future trips? I think we all want to be safe and we want to stay safe. The trends that we are seeing is to lean more, maybe toward the more wide open areas, more so than a city center. But for now, next year's travel plans are still wait and see as we all continue to fight against COVID-19. Valerie Lyons, 44 News. And as those holiday travel